Georgia on logo, celebrating back-to-back -back Nats. Perfection wears red and black tonight. 15-0. The dogs have done it and won a second consecutive national. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not again. Throws that thing in the end zone and yes! Touch, touchdown! Touchdown in the goal line! Sigue Ringo! Corta dentro! Ringo! Touchdown! Georgia! Georgia Bulldogs bludgeon their way to back to back. Glory, glory, Georgia, as the fight song says. This is our love for each other. One plus one equals what? Three. We are better together and we are connected. This is Robert Iron E. Singleton, a.k.a. D-Dunk from The Walking Dead or Alton from The Blind Side. And you are watching Respect the Hedges on the Fan Addict Sports Network. All right, guys. Go dog. Sick em. <laughs> What's going on, Respect the Hedges family and dog nations? Coach Ty, listen, man. They switched the practice days on your boy, so you can see in the background a little bit. We actually out here practicing, but nonetheless, we're going to get the show rolling, man. We're here to talk all things Georgia football in the spring. We're going to talk about players that uh, we're looking forward to seeing, position groups we're looking forward to seeing, uh, and where we think the dogs might need to improve. So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing started. As always, y'all know we brought to you by Tailgate Kings. We back up in here, man. We're gonna go ahead and bring the fellas up on. Y'all already know who up in here first, man. It's the man with the plan. The man always got the energy, man. Let's see if he got that springtime energy for us. E Rob, what's going on, dog? Let's go, coach. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? It's springtime. Listen, man. I'm a little ticked off. I'm a little ticked off because we we did this show for two years and we won two national championships. We came back for year three and it didn't go our way. Right, right. So we loading up right now. Are we getting our hamstring loosened up here in the spring? <laughs> if you out there and you ain't a dog, I'll, I'll, I'll get out of my way. We ain't, we ain't dealing with you. We running over over top of everything this year. Go dogs. Go dogs, man. Let's bring in the coolest fan in the land. That's our guy, Cool Cal. What's up, Cal? What it do? What it do? Dog land. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? You know what I love to hear? I love to hear spring ball, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just give you a little taste. You know what I'm saying? Give you a little something to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? Get the position battles crunk up, man, and, and kind of see where the team's starting to form this year, man. So I'm excited, man. We we got a great show for, for the dog land tonight, man, and let's get it. That's right, man. Up next, our guy, man, y'all know who it is. It's C.A. Corey Allen. What's going on, C.A.? Riding in the car, Chronicles. I hope you can hear me well. I'm excited about um, – it's player development season. We talk about this coaching staff. We talk about what this program does. This is the time to get these young men better. So the guy I had last year, I don't expect that to be the same player going forward. So I'm anxious to see who's ready to compete and contribute. We got a lot of eyes on a lot of people. And, uh, hey, you know, this is where the rubber meets the road. That's right. That's right, man. Let's bring in another one of our crew, man. It's Mr. Javar Johnson, JV. What's going on, JV? Fellas, yeah. fellas, fellas, yeah. we in the building. Let's go. Hey, listen, I love the excitement. E, Cal, uh, CA, uh, I know you're trying to get to where you're trying to get to so you can drop knowledge on us like you always do. Coach, I appreciate <laughs> it. And we ready in this building, baby. Let's this go. Is the third year. This is, well, actually, this is, the, this is the fourth year that we're doing this show. We should have been in the whole shebang last year, man. We are responsible for everything that y'all know about these dogs. So let's keep on giving it to the people and let's go tonight. 
That's right, man. That's right. Y'all already know first in the building, first lady, Shelby, what's going on? Going three or four Shut and 24. Up. I like that. I like Let's go. That. I like it. I three like or four it. and 24. <laughs> what's going on? My guy, Kim. My guy, Kim Hurst is in the building. What's going what's on, my man? We appreciate y'all coming you. in. All y'all watching out there on Facebook, we appreciate y'all as well, man. We're going to go ahead and get this thing started, man. Uh, E-Rock. What position group, dog? What you looking forward to? Who need to get that work in? Who got the most opportunity? All that kind of stuff. Well, I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a homer like JV be a homer all the time. So I'm gonna pick my <laughs> my position group. So it's MDB. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's that's really what I want to see. I think that we there are a lot of questions um in the secondary. We have one answer for sure, uh, with uh number 24, my guy. Uh, but he's hurt this spring. So the good thing is um, some of the young guys get a chance to get some reps. So we'll, you know, it's that time of year. So when those reps are available, I want to see these guys take advantage of it. And like uh, somebody just said, I don't want to see the same player, player that I saw last year. I want to see development. Mm -hmm. I want to I see us moving towards just having a roster full of guys who are ready to play. So the cornerbacks. The safeties, a lot of questions to be answered. We're going to dig into a little bit more uh, specifically a little later in the show. But that's the position group I want to kind of focus on a little bit later. Them DBs, there's a lot of opportunities out there for them yep. DBs, man. So we're going to see who want to get it. Yes, done. sir. Some injuries. Uh, what's his name? Humphrey's coming off an injury. You know, yep. uh, we talked we talk Daniel Harrison to coming back out the portal. So uh, it should be a fight out there, man. Cool cow. What position yes, group or player, man, that you looking forward to, man, or uh, might have the best chance of getting on the field this year, man? I think like what E. Rob said, to be honest with you, but I, I'm 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 gonna go two positions because he's he's covered the DBs, but but one of the things is, um, the first thing starts up front. I want to see us when we were at our best, when we mm -hmm. won our titles, we were dominant up front. You know what I'm saying? We were dominant, getting the push. You couldn't run the ball on us. Teams came in and said they can't go anywhere running the ball. So the only thing that they could try to do is to do trick plays and to pass. So I want to see us getting back to that. I think we do have a good group up front, uh, but I think it's time for somebody to step out. You know what I'm saying? Be dominant. Come out of that shot like Jordan Davis did a few years ago. He wasn't the most heralded guy. But he was yep. a guy who got better and better, like you, Rob, is saying, who's developing, who's getting better. So I, I think if we get back to getting more dominant up front, but then I also want to touch on the cornerback position. One of the things that I think that we've had with the cornerback position, going back to 2020, I was looking it up. So Eric Stokes, you know, he was our stud back there at corner that particular year. And I think each year that, we, that we've had corners, we kind of passed it on to a guy that's kind of mm. been that alpha dog. I don't know if we have that right now. So yes. I want to see what we're going to have coming out of camp with our corners this year, because I don't know if we had that guy that we necessarily passed the torch to. Mm. Great point. That's interesting. Great that's point. a great yep. point. That's a great point. We have had some lockdown corners these past couple of years. So we'll see if, uh, you know, Everett can take a step up or one of these young cats can get in there and fill that void. You know what I'm saying? So good stuff. Yes. Bro. Good stuff. JV, my man. Hey, man, there's a lot of opportunity out there. We, we missing some key players, Mr. Bowers, Lad McConkey, uh, Kamari Lassiter. What you looking forward to, dog? Who need to get in there and get that thing done? Hey, listen, man, I'm just going to hone it out. Um, <laughs> I, because I think that it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> I think it's absolutely necessary that we – we find a player at that tight end position. And not only did we lose Brock Bowers, but we also lost um, our Pierce. third um, Pierce, Pierce. Pierce. Um, our third string tight end to, you know what I'm saying, medical injury um, that he won't. So he won't be able to play ball anymore for us. Um, I was looking forward to kind of seeing how that young man was going to bulk up a little bit and try to contribute in his offense. But the, real, the, uh, the reality of it is, is that we have a guy who came in from Stanford, uh, we have, of course, uh, my guy Lucky, who I think is going to be a dynamic player. I don't, I don't think the world is ready for him. Uh, and what we have had has been like the best tight end in the country for the past three years. Bar none, I don't care what anybody says, that man was the best tight end in the country. <laughs> we don't have him anymore. So now we need to establish our new guys in that position. 
get them some touches, get them the ball early. I think they're going to have a lot to prove because they haven't had a lot to show. So mm -hmm. that's my group. Hey, I'm with you on that. It's going to be a lot of opportunity yeah. in that tight end room. But, hey, with, with, with the absence of Bowers, there's going to be – and Lad McConkey, there's a lot of opportunities on offense, C.A.G., yep. man. Your hey, absolutely. Hey, we went out there and got some guys. Guy from Miami, Kobe Young. We got Lon London Humphrey from Vandy and mm -hmm. Michael Jackson the third from USC. What you look? What, what they looking like? What they looking like, C.A.? I mean, you know, you basically did the homework for me, but that's exactly. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a homer just like the rest of us, you know. I, I, I'm anxious about it because, you know, for me, when I look at the opportunity, you know, you mentioned the guys we brought in. We got, you know, I think we still got Bale in the fold. We still got Love It, as you mentioned. Um, I don't know what the deal is with, you know, I don't know if Ra Ra still want to compete, but I, I tell you this much: when you got a quarterback that is up for the Heisman, that's number one ranked returning. Who wants to be that number one target? There are so many balls available. Who is ready to step up and let it be known? I'll be open all night, coach. Who who's gonna give Carson Beck that that cushy soft blanket of comfort that he needs so that he knows he can lean on you on third down? You know, I'm anxious to see who's gonna step up because we got a lot of opportunity. The ball's gonna be in Carson's hand in important situations. Nine times out of ten, when you got that level of talent under center and that level of experience, he's going to be the decision maker. Somebody's going to have to be his favorite, and I'm, I want to see who that uh, who that who that guy ends up being. I, I do. I've looked at uh, a little bit of the conversation here in the spring early, and, and I am a fan of what Kobe Young has done. I, I think a guy with his size can be a true X. Can we find another AJ Green type? Can we find another George Pickens, a, a guy who we can lean on now. and dominate at that X and, and really give us something that we can direct the offense toward, make the defense focus? That's what I want to see because we haven't had it, to be honest with you. We've had a lot of explosive guys in the slot, but I know that those receivers still exist. I look at them every other Saturday on some other teams, and I want to make sure my room is ready to step up. Mm, I like that. It sound like a lot okay. of opportunity out here, man. Uh, Stat guy says, "What do y'all think uh, will be the biggest battle for a starting position, not just the two deep during the spring?" I think uh, that running back, spot, running back, yep, running, running back. back. That's gonna be a dog fight. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> it gonna hey, be Kirby, I heard him singing the praises, of, praises of uh, Etienne, man. Yeah, man, Etienne. You got Etienne. You got Paul. You got Rob Roderick Robinson, then you uh Branson coming off the injury. Uh you got the new cat, uh was it Dwight Phillips, I think his name is. The, he's yeah. a really, really yeah. fast. That's the really Chauncey fast. Bowers, Chauncey Bowers is there already there. Chauncey, yep. Chauncey, Chauncey Bowers. Man. Hey dog, that's a big boy right there now. Chauncey yeah, Bowers. he mentioned yeah, three. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, oh, Paul, uh, yeah. Andrew Paul. Yep. Yeah, I said, yeah, Andrew Paul. That's what and I'm we got saying. Nate, Nate Frazier coming Ooh, in. I he folk too. Got about him. I know. Hey. <laughs> so I think I would say the running back, man. Like I don't know who's it's loaded there. back there. It's loaded, and it might be some mad people come come to end the spring. Well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> right, listen, <laughs> listen, man. Co hey, competition, competition. Weed, weed out the weeds from the flowers, baby. I want you to bloom. I need who whoever gonna bloom. That's who's gonna play. Right, I agree. right. I mean, I guess also you could say uh, DB uh, corner. Who's gonna start at that corner? Um, you got Ellis Robinson coming in as the number one corner. You got mm -hmm. Ju Julian Humphreys coming back. Daniel Harris. Uh, you still got, you got uh, Everett. Everett got Everett. himself. Yep. It, so uh, and it's a, a couple other guys. So yeah, Harris. Yeah, Harris recruited, yeah. Harris. We recruited those spots well. Right. Yeah. Right. Iron sharpens iron, and they're gonna have to get out there and do it because ain't nothing gonna be given to you. So uh, that guy said, I hear you say, guy. <laughs> they would take one or two of those. <laughs> <laughs> One I mean, there might be a couple available at the end of the spring. We might you might be able to get some. Right, right. And then I think uh Cal touched on it earlier. I'm looking to see who's gonna step up on that D line. I mean, to be that guy. Like, is it gonna be Jordan Hall? Is it gonna be Ja Jarrett? I mean, we we need us a Jordan Davis or a Jalen Carter. We need somebody that can't be stopped. Now you right. gotta block him with two people. Once he yep. can block right. him with two people, now I got CJ Allen can get off in that back in that uh that linebacker backfield. So Absolutely. Yeah. So the great thing is back. we got a we got a lot of candidates 
who can step in to be that person. We just need to see who's going to step up and be it. But there's a lot of dudes who got that kind of ability. Now, who's going to step up and do it? Because you still got 52. Um, all these dudes are like freshmen right, and sophomore. Yeah, Christian. Christian um, yeah, Christian uh, Miller. Yeah. I mean, these are all five-star guys, you know what I'm saying? And they kind of flash in there. But who's going to be that guy who to be consistent where you just you, you can't point. block him? He's just a problem, you know what I'm saying? Who's going to be that guy? And the great thing is a great problem that we have. We have it's a whole bunch of them. Who's gonna mm -hmm. rise to the top? You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to see. <laughs> yeah, Facts. yeah, yeah. So now, question to the whole panel: What area as a team do y'all think we need to improve in? Is I mean that starts here in the spring. I, I'm, I'm gonna start it off, and then I'm gonna let E Rob. I gotta get back to practice. I'm gonna let E Rob <laughs> drive this ship. Fat guys in the building producing, so uh, we got everybody helping out. But uh, I think red zone. Red zone defense needs to increase this year. We gave up once teams got in the red zone on us. They didn't get there often. But yeah. once they did, we only they stopped them. Up. I want to say we only stopped them once. Oh, yeah, in the red zone. And once they got in the red zone, that we was giving it up like, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. the day walkers in Las Vegas. So, I mean. <laughs> I was going to see where you're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was waiting hey. to see where he was going with that. <laughs> you see you on me in South Carolina. <laughs> right. Hey, listen. Listen, before I get out of here, man, we got a special guest for y'all. We're here to talk about spring, talk about some of the new people coming in. And it don't stop there. We The class of 2024 just uh, enrolled in school. And now we got 2025 on horizon. So we got somebody in here to talk. Uh, class of 2025, commit running back Bo Walker. Let's get him in, man. What's going on, Bo? Yo. All right. What's up, what Bo? Do? What's up, Bo? What's <laughs> going on, man? Go dogs. How you feeling tonight? How you feeling tonight? Feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. Good, good. What you looking forward to this spring? I know you. I hope you're going to make it to uh, G-Day. Uh, what you looking nah. forward to seeing them dogs do? Nah, for sure. I got to go to a practice, you know. You want me to right. call? Go call for the new running back on me to come out there, see how he coaching things. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely pull up. That's what's up. That's right. what's up. So, you've been on a couple of trips to the dog, to, to Athens. Uh, what you like best about Athens, whether it be That's something on campus know. or yeah. the facilities or what? Really everything, like the culture out there, you know, they got good culture, good fans. You know, the coaches, you can tell they work hard every day. You know, it's just everything good about it, you know, Coach. Coach Smart, you know, he always liked to win. That's why I love to do win games. So that's why I like. So I got a question hey. for you, bro. Um, real quick. So um, did you grow up uh, a Georgia fan? See, no, I was a Florida State fan because I like I used to watch Davin Cook. So I was, okay. a, I was a Georgia, I was a Florida State fan, you know. Really? Okay, so then okay. let me ask you this. So then so my follow-up question to that, so then why did you commit? What like what changed you from being a Florida State fan to committing to the, the Bulldogs? I saw DeAndre Swift and all them boys just come out of Georgia and just just they went to the league and it looked like they was already like already in the league the way they like right. I guess, I guess Georgia prepared them for it. You know, right. I went, mm -hmm. freshman year I worked out with Dale McGee. You know, he liked me. I just fell in love from it from then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, one more question. Hey, one more question, real quick. Oh, one more right, real quick. Go ahead, go look, ahead. look. I, I'm one more question, man. I, I'm happy that you're on the show, man. I I checked out your tape, boy. You, hey, boy. Hey, <laughs> keep Damn. doing your thing, boy. All right. That's yeah. all I'm gonna say about that. But look, so when you come to Georgia, I mean, this is why we win championship, man. We got players on top of players on top of players. So it's gonna be a lot of competition. What about you? Is not you know what I'm saying why you don't worry about that? Why you know what about you says, man? Bring it on. I mean, you know, hard work. I come out of shit ago. You know, we always practice hard work. I can mm -hmm. kick, I can block, I can run the ball. So that's really everything you need as a running back. And I know, like, I'm going to go out there and put in my all, and I feel like I can play my, my first year. What's up? All right. Hey, listen, like check it out. Check it out, guys. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting this young man um, at an event that we had, that we had thanks to um, the invitation from, as you see the shout out in the um, chat, Caitlin Hill, the li library lady, uh, yeah. and her principal. <laughs> um, <laughs> man, you know what? I had, the, I had the pleasure of having Bo and some of his teammates hang out with me during that day while we were reading to the kids oh, in his elementary cool. school, man. Um, I just want to tell you something, Bo. Man, listen, you made an impression on me 
the way that you handled yourself, the way that you, um, number one, because I already knew you was a ball. I knew who you were when you walked in the room because I'm a dog, right? Dogs know who the dogs are in the room. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the um, but the impression really came to me, man, when you we were going around with me and you were reading to these kids, you were having a conversation with me, you were interacting. And so that's big. That's big as a young man. That's young. That's big as a. I'm just gonna say it's big as a young black man. I appreciate Absolutely. how you handle yourself. It made me extremely proud that I didn't know you at the time, but it made me extremely proud to be able to know you past that event. Invite you on here, man, because listen, you gonna see a lot of these faces. This guy up here, Eron, he balled out. Cal. He one of our biggest, biggest homies, man, and we all love the dog. So we follow everything that's going on at the University of Georgia. Best believe we rooting for you. We can't wait to see you. I can't and we wait. can't wait for you to win another another state championship this year. I didn't come to the last one. I didn't know you at the time, but y'all make it back. <laughs> I'm going to be in the building. That's for sure. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what come in, Mr. Thad Parker, who is also a dog, you know what I'm saying, a dual, a dual sport yeah. athlete. You know what I'm saying? Football and track. So he can introduce himself to you. But thank you for coming on, Bo. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. And I and I just want to say, man, just to uh just to back up, you know, JV sentiments. Uh I had the pleasure of going to the event as well, um, and meeting Bo as well as some of his teammates. And let me tell you, um, not only you, I was also impressed with all of your teammates, man. You know how you guys come over and interact with the younger kids how you also had the maturity to fit in with the adults as well, how you spoke mm -hmm. and how you presented yourself. It was impressive, man. So, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, Cedar Grove community, man, you guys are doing a fantastic job. You know what I'm saying? Bringing up great young men in that community. And, you know, I was proud to be a part of it and uh, proud to see that you're going to be a dog as well, man, because I didn't realize you guys had won six out of the last eight titles. Yeah. They oh, ball. Man, I didn't know that. Really? I, that, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? They so it's ball. a perfect blend just bringing that winning culture also that right. you have, not just your talent, but also you got, like you said, you have a winning, and we can't have enough dogs, you know what I'm saying, that just have that passion for winning, man. So you know, and uh, just hope for great things in the future for you, man, and continue to, you know what I'm saying, do what you're doing, and to get better. I get close. <laughs> Yeah, you go. we got you. That's on deck. We need Mobo. Hey, Bo, <laughs> we need Mobo. Oh, yeah, yeah, We need yeah. Mobo. We need Mobo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Bo, let me ask you this. Um, are you are you going to enroll early or are you going to come uh, next summer? I'm enrolling early. You are going to come in early? Okay. Yeah. That's it. Oh. Get the place Let's go now. now. Right. No, we can... <laughs> Welcome to the show, Mr. Parker. Yeah, what you got, Hello, Chad? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? We got loud you. and clear. Yeah, we got you. We got you. We got. You. Sorry for the, sorry for the tardiness. Um, what's up, Bo? Man, I went to Cram High School. You know, I know you probably don't know about that now. Close down, but we used to beat up for y'all back in my day. You're <laughs> 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 well, not called Cram no more, right? No, nah, it is uh, no more nah, it's, all, it's, all, it's an alternative school now. I don't know what they call it now. Oh, for real? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was always alternative, but it's official. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's about> that. <laughs> uh, just shout out to your boat, man. It's, it's good to have another dog on the panel, man. And uh, I'm very excited to hear what you got to uh, let us know about uh, – your future as a dog and congrats to you and what you're doing in the community. Uh, it's a blessing mm -hmm. to have another brother to, you know what I'm saying, help inspire the next um, generation, man. So, man, what are we getting into tonight, man? Let's go, man. Let's get it, man. Appreciate man, we, it's spring time. We we're talking in spring. So, Bo, how, you guys in spring practice right now in high school? Well, I'm playing baseball on the track, so. I ain't oh, really you play baseball? Oh, yeah. man, I play baseball. This, time oh, my, out. My, time my guy. Time this out. is my Did guy say, right here. You play baseball and track? Yeah, I play I play three sports. Wait, how do you okay. track, track, track and baseball at the same time? Right. Yeah. My, hey, when you when you a talent like fine. this young man, they let you do whatever you want to damn do. <laughs> Let's see. just go ahead and put that out there. I see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do everything. 
That's, that's, hey, Bo, let me ask you a up. question. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Has there been, you know, you, you're a great athlete. I can already tell you, if you've been recruited by the dogs, you're a damn good athlete and a damn good student. But let me ask you this. I just want to reserve this question to guys once they get into the program. But I want to ask you this right now. Has there been anybody on the roster or anybody in your incoming class that has inspired you or has impressed you? You, mm. to make you want to take your game to the next level? Great question. I said that we got, we got a tight end in our class name. <coughs> oh, did we lose him? No. Uh-oh. He'll be back. Hey, listen, he'll be back. No, that's no, a great go. question. No, I want to see what we're... I'm back. Oh, I'm there back. we go. There we I'm go. Back. Yeah, yeah, come on with it, Bo. Oh, you got to start from the beginning, Bo. Yeah, start from the beginning, man. Yeah, it was my boy Ethan Barber, you know. Ethan really, he really helped me on the Commitment, really. I know I've been knowing, but he was already committed. Then he just, I could tell the way he worked. What was his name again, Bo? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear it. Ethan, Ethan Barber. Barber. He, uh, he a tight end, twenty class of twenty twenty five, committed. Tight end, baby. Yeah, tight end. <laughs> yeah that's, that's so. What is about this kid that impressed you? Oh, I saw him work out one time, and he didn't. He looked like a tight end, but you know how tight ends down they, they ain't really fast, but. Excuse me? Tight ends ain't really fast, but they fast. They ain't really fast. Hey, you better start some shit. You know what he said? No, they not really fast. Let the man cook. Let the man cook. You know, they'd be like six, five, six, four. You know, they don't really look fast, but I saw the way he was working. I'm like, yeah, I got to be a teammate because I know he going to make sure I work hard. Every day at practice, I'm going to make sure he work hard. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Love that. Great question, Shouty. Man, that's what's up. Yo. Yeah, I'm trying to play both in college. Yeah. Well, or both of which? You, you playing too? three right now? No, nah, baseball and football. I can't do track. Baseball. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, and I can that's tell you, the dogs ain't bad in baseball uh, exactly. either. So They just had a good class yeah. uh, this past this year coming up. So, yeah. so Bo, so who in the 2025 trip? class do you – um? Who do you uh, interact with the most? Like, who's the, who are you the closest with that you're gonna be coming in uh, in your class? Uh, you talking about like a commit or like somebody I yeah. want to get? Shoot, both, either one, yeah. I want to get one both. Gatson, one Gaston from West Lake, you know, Lyman. Yeah, six five six. One Gaston. That's that's funny you say that, man. Uh, I used to play at Tucker High School. He's playing against his dad. Oh, for his real? dad played at Columbia High School. Listen, his, his dad, his Juan Gaston, one of the coldest oh. football players, a six seven free safety. Uh, he played <laughs> he's six, six, six seven free safety. Wow. Mm. Come down that hill, stroke you. <laughs> but, but anyway, I, but yeah, I did hear his son was was uh, really good, uh, big commit, really big kid. So that's uh, that's that's funny you said that. I've heard a lot of good things about Juan. <laughs> Kayla well, say tight ends are really fast. They're not. They're not. <laughs> that's my girl. That's li- that's library lady. Yeah, hey, listen to the library lady. They, they, they ain't quick. They just know how to run right. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey, bro, who about to make this man pass out? Hey, man. Boy, I, <laughs> they just boy, I got another question for you. Yeah, hey, welcome to the SEC. Gonna be. I, mm-hmm. I got another question for you. You know, uh, I'm a I'm a former former two sport athletes as well at the university um as well as e Let me ask you this question right here. Coming into the coming into you know your freshman year, which would be next year the incoming year, is there any trepidation, anything that kind of you know scares you about possibly trying to do two sports and not focus on one sport with it being so much competition at the university? I mean all my life I really just been a hard working person like I really been playing three sports track baseball my whole life so I feel like going to the next level it won't stop me it just made me even work harder you feel me so mm-hmm. I don't feel like nothing to like render me from just not playing no more I feel like I'm gonna finish the goal yeah. absolutely cool. hey real quick before yeah, we move to the, cause I know we're gonna be moving go ahead y'all I was just gonna say I'm, 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 I'm glad you answered that way because I know competition is something that Kirby I'm sure um Harps on in the recruiting process. 
So I'm mm-hmm. sure you got to be a, a very good competitor to even come here. Yeah, I'm a good. Hey, real quick, for the two guys who did actually play two sports um, at UGA, Shawty Parker and E-Rob, can you guys give both any, I guess, insight? Can you give him any um, jewels of information that will help him along his way as he moves to the University of Georgia? Because it is going to be a whole different world, Bo. I'm telling you, when you step foot on campus, it's cool when you're recruited, but when you get to campus – it's going to be a different world for you. So can you guys impart any type of uh, wisdom on Bo, drop a couple of jewels to him to help him actually kind of navigate that whole scenario? Man, I think he already got it worked out, man. The main thing you, you got to do is you're going to have to work harder. And if you already got that mm-hmm. in you, you're going to be all right. That's not what I did. I tried to coach and was hoping, you know, people just gave and it doesn't work that way, man. So you just got to keep your nose to the ground and, if you know, keep, man, the, the, here it is. Keep the main thing, the main thing. As long as you do that, you're going to be all right. You, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to have a lot of time to do, but you're used to doing that. You know what I'm saying? Just keep the main thing, the main thing. And before you know it, man, them three or four years go by so fast. Dude, you know what I'm saying? Just, just stay focused on what you're supposed to do and where you want to go, and you'll be all right, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. For sure. Uh, you know, my advice to you would be, you know, pretty much what E-Rob said, but, you know, I, I just try to be as, as transparent as possible. And I always say this right here, you know, the physical part, in my opinion, is going to come easy. You've done that your whole life. But the mental part is going to be very key for you. So if they're giving you a football scholarship, in my opinion, it would be to focus on getting that playbook down. Mm-hmm. Because if you can mm-hmm. get the playbook down and get the mental side down, yeah. where pays your bill, meaning football will come a lot easier. Then when you go to baseball, it'll almost be somewhat of a retreat. You did what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. you got to get the foot, you got to get where it pays the bill down first, in my opinion, which is football. I'm not trying to say, you know, don't aspire to be a dual or triple sport athlete. But just in my opinion, I'm just going out based on my opinion. I had issues on the mental side. So I had to cut a sport out to focus on one side. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So all I would say to you is just make sure you know you get the mental side down of the sport. The physical side is going to be easy. You've been doing that your whole life. And if you can get the mental aspect down, I think everything else will fall in place for you. Boy. Appreciate it. Do it right there. Yep, yep. Great advice. Great advice. Great advice. advice. And we just actually had one of UGA's greatest re-enter the conversation, Mr. Corey Allen. Mr. (laughs) Hobb, Mr. Step on his face, Mr. Catch it in the back of the end zone himself. Uh, Bo, if you don't know this guy, make sure you look him up because most UGA fans, whether they're young or old, know who this guy is. Corey Allen in the building in the red light district tonight. We gonna <laughs> the red light shot district. <laughs> I appreciate the shout out. I appreciate the shout out. Uh Bo, definitely good to meet you. Uh, you know, that introduction, I'm gonna have to pay JV for it and record. Boy, he put you in that. there, boy. He put you yeah, in I there. Did, I, look, I, 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 I don't deal with cash out. But uh yeah, definitely glad to have you on. I've been listening the entire time. Uh, I'm a big fan of, you know, what I'm hearing. Uh, we played against Cedar Grove when I was in high school. Thad and I played against each other uh, way back in the in, in the mid-90s. So I, I got an idea about the talent, and you guys have been extremely dominant. You need to bring that to Athens with you. You got to make sure you maintain that same level of dominance that you've had and uh, because that competition is going to be fierce. It's going to be a guy standing beside you, look just like you, act just like you. So as long as you're ready for that, you'll be in good hands because, uh, as we always say on this show, Iron Sharp is Iron. <clears throat> I'm interested to ask you a question, you know, a little bit of left field, though, because I didn't play two sports, but I, I, I'm a baseball fan. I played baseball growing up. I'm still playing baseball to this day, to be honest with you. What position do you play in baseball? And talk oh. to me about that average. I need to know what you're doing out there. Are you wasting <laughs> time? Are you taking somebody's spot? Are you are you the man in that spot in that sport, too? Mm. Good question. 
I got that speed on me. I like them tight ends, you know. They don't got no. <laughs> well, I like how you do that. I like how you keep bringing that back. <laughs> My God. Hey, man, you, you're going to fit in good around here, Bo. Yeah, you're you going to fit be all in right. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them states you know, know what they're doing over there. I really don't know. Hey, like nothing, nothing dropped the ground, I say. I got a uh, 450 average, better average, so. Oh, you ready? <laughs> Oh, 50? You yeah, know you what? Bro, we don't really In baseball, we're a place. No, like, I really ain't got struck out yet, none, so. Yeah, Damn, boy, I'm about to come check you out, boy. I love Talk baseball. For real? Yeah, 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 yeah for real. We're going to do that. Hey, hey, to CA's question, Bo, um, to kind of piggyback off his question, uh, uh, do you have because you know we've played with players that would do a sport athletes like yourself. I don't know if they mentioned mm -hmm. Quincy Carter and Patrick Pass. So we actually played with guys who were professional baseball um baseball players as well. Do you actually have baseball professional aspirations? Oh yeah, most definitely. I, that was really my first okay. sport. That's where oh. but a coach mm. found out. Yeah, a coach saw me on the baseball field, just threw me in football, but I've been playing baseball my whole okay. life. Okay. okay. Really? See, that's good yeah, to know. I didn't know that. That's good to know. Yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, that is good to know. Came front. Yeah. That's where the money at. I, I, you know what? Hey, listen. Man. Let's not let's not act like we don't have the next comment coming. Mm -hmm. When your name is Bo and you play football and baseball, <laughs> we know what we've seen before, right? No, no. We've seen one of the greatest athletes to ever grace a a grass field or astroturf field period do what you're talking about doing and phenomenal i'm a georgia fan till i die but i have an autograph uh jersey and helmet from bo jackson because he was one of my favorite athletes period growing up man i think he did a phenomenal phenomenal job i think we were robbed from one of the greatest athletes to ever play a sport when he got hurt so, listen, aspirations to you, Bo. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't. And when they do tell you, you just run through the tape. You feel me? That's another one, E-Rob. Go ahead and put that one in the annals of uh, J.V. <laughs> <laughs> run through the tape. <laughs> I heard that run through the tape one before. We have to, we might have to fact check that one. Again. Well, That's not, not necessarily the way I, I use it. I, 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 I do have one quick question for you, though, Bo. I got one quick question for you. <laughs> So um, it, it, it doesn't even have to be a, an athlete or anything like that. It could be an athlete. Who is a person that you actually look up to? Um, somebody that you kind of, you know, either maybe, um, you know, patterned like you want to have your life behind or, or, or maybe there's a running back or an athlete that you really admire. Who do you look up to? Well, I, look mm -hmm. I got two people. I say my grandma, I've been staying with her my whole life. Awesome. So. Awesome. Shout out to grandma. So I say DeAndre Swift, I feel like he can do everything in the book. He's from Georgia. I'm I'm going there, so I'm keep okay. the trail. I look at DeAndre Swift, though. That's my uh, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, have, definitely. Have you had a chance guy, to meet him? You said what? Great have you had a chance to meet him? Oh yeah, yeah. I met him one time at the uh, at the Georgia game. I met him one time. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's what's up. Right. That's what's up. Cool. 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 Man, hey, I, Bo, you know what, are Bo? you? No, go ahead, man. I ain't have a question, man. I'm just saying, man, I'm enjoying that you're on the oh, show, man. man. I think that you're a really impressive young man. And I just, I man, I'm so happy that you came on the show, brother. And I'm so happy that you're going to be a bulldog. I just, I just wanted to say that. I don't even have a question for you. I didn't want to just say that, man. Mm -hmm. Just keep being yourself, man. Don't change. And, man, mm -hmm. the, 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 the sky is, I mean, man, dude. It's, it's right there for you. You can do both of them. Do both of them. Get all the money, bro. I ain't even mad at you. Get it out. Well, well, Bo, what, what, what I'm doing, Bo, is I'm, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions because I got a, I got an idea and a feeling that you're going to begin to ask a lot of questions in your UGA career. So go on and get your mind right. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so mm -hmm. my next <laughs> question for you, bro, I don't know how much time we got. We got plenty right. of time, Sean. Go time. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So are you or will you be doing anything different to prepare yourself as you come to Georgia? Because that's another mm. that's another step, right? Mm -hmm. So are you going to be continue doing the same thing, or are you are you going to be doing anything different to uh, you know what I'm saying, prepare yourself, so to speak? I'm 
trying to uh get my body fat down a lot. You know, I play at like two oh five during the season. I'm trying to get at least like two hundred because you know, that's that's more speed. You gotta have speed to have in the SEC. So the faster. So the so what are we talking about in terms of? Do you know? Are you, do, can you speak in terms of percentages for the people? I don't mean to put you on the spot. Yeah, you, you do. You say you're trying to get your body fat down. Oh, see, yeah, I don't really know nothing all about. Okay. It. Yeah, but I got you. No problem. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll let you know. Trust me. We'll let you yeah, know. Yeah, you're going to do it when you get to George. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And don't be surprised, Bo. FYI, man. Listen, we show up. Absolutely. We will show up. So, hey, remember the names. Remember the faces. When we show up at a game, when we show up at a practice at UGA, just know we love the program. Not only do we love the program, we respect the program. We respect 16. Corey Allen, who just actually had um, a, a, a Wi-Fi failure, him and 16, Kirby Smart, you know, they came in together. They actually were, all of us played with Kirby. And so we know the program. We know Kirby. We know the kind of guy he is. We've been an advocate for what he's been doing. We've been an advocate for the way that he actually runs this program. When he brings young men in, he makes these young men grown men and he makes them better. So we're huge advocates of that. And because of that, we want to continue to make sure that, you know, if there's anything that's ever needed that we can assist with, remember these faces. Because that's why we're here, man. We're here to champion the next group of young men that come in to, to the University of Georgia because not only is this a football family, but this is a brotherhood. So we welcome you into the brotherhood. That's what we at right now. That's what we that's what we got you on this show for. I felt it when I was talking to you, when I was walking around with you. Welcome to the brotherhood. I don't, I don't know if you went to see the Grove. I don't know if I would have signed uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get mad. Hey, no, no, hey, don't mind Sauter, man. He a contrarian. He a contrarian, <laughs> right? Yeah. He just he just mad because his school ain't that no more. Don't worry about all that. Dog. Don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> pile of bricks. Oh man! <laughs> All right. So, C. Raw, what we? I mean, I mean, E. Raw, what we got going on, man, with the uh, spring conversation? What we got? Any, do you have anything else? Well, before we get into that, so Bo, I don't know if you want to stay for the rest of the show, man. If not, you can go ahead and sign off, man. Again, man, I'm, you're more than welcome Please to stay. Say. But we're we're gonna talk about uh, what's going on this spring and a couple of position uh, battles that uh, are gonna take place and. You know, kind of how we expect gonna, all that to shake out. Talk about this running back spot. Well, who won it? Some, some yeah. guys that won it. <laughs> and, so, and, and really, hold on, Rich. I'm sure Bo reading the paper. Hey, 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 and Bo, don't be afraid to give us your true, your true, your true feelings about what you see and what you know about UGA's running back room. You know what I'm saying? Let us know who you feel going to take that spot. Let us know who you feel. Might be out of that, might be a space out and might be uh, kind of shot out of what's going on down there in Athens. Oh, Don't be on, afraid to say it. Oh, second delay so we can edit this just in case. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay. we need to get true feelings. That's now, what we're I mean, here for. So, yeah, so what? So, uh, there we go. So, Bo, so how, how do you see it shaking out? Who's going to be the starting running back for the University of Georgia in 2024? It's definitely, it's most likely looking like Trevor Etienne, the one who transferred from Florida. No, okay. Probably, probably gonna be his last year. Go to the job, so most likely him. Who's gonna be his backup? Who's gonna be the dude he's kind of uh, sharing carries with? Uh, I say I say Brunson. He just came off an injury, but you know Brunson scored like his freshman year had like three touchdowns, but he was hurt all last year. So yeah, I think he'll be a good backup. He won't be cleared to till after the spring. That's what I. Yeah, I don't even know when he's gonna be healthy. Yeah, that's the problem. Like he ain't really healthy, but a healthy Brunson is scary, man. Mm. Yeah, he looked like he he be eating the weights, boy. That, that boy, that's what up. <laughs> hey, don't slip <laughs> on Asian Zero though. Don't, don't slip on Asian <laughs> no, Zero, no, no, man. No, 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 no. He's tough too. Yeah. Uh, so, Bo, you know, I, that's a good question, Ero. I don't know if we're about to get into the spring. Like, I came in kind of yeah. late, so I don't know if we don't – I don't know if we don't talk about that or we get into that. I'm just so impressed with Bo. I got so many questions. Go ahead, so Sean. Do your thing, man. Question? Yes, please, before, do your thing. Okay. So, so, Bo, uh, this is what I would say, just to piggyback, piggyback off what we already been talking about, which is the running back room. 
Do you have any kind of intrepidation about coming? I've kind of asked you this already, but coming into an already stacked room, having to compete against some guys who are already a little bit older than you. Like, you know, how is there any kind of pressure? I, mean, I would say pressure. It just probably made me work more harder, you know, seeing mm-hmm. that other guys are in front of me. But, you know, going up there, working my hard, I know time going to come and I'm going to be in the starter spot. No. Ooh, I like what you just said. Knowing your time gonna come, and that's why I kind of was trying to dig into that question a little bit more because it sounds like you understand that what you may be coming into. It, it, you know, everything might not be all you know. What I'm saying cakes and cookies when you first get there. It's gonna take some work. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I like the mindset, man. All right, mm-hmm. man. And also, a, he's ball. a freshman though. Hey, listen, everybody do. See, hey, listen, I was 195 pounds coming in talking about I was going to start at tight end in the SEC. <laughs> Little did I know. Um, but, Bo, what? you talking about DeAndre Swift kind of branches over to that answer that you just gave because you understand and you've seen that this young man sat behind two dynamic running backs at the University of Georgia who both went, if I'm not mistaken, first round. Am I, am I right about that? Nick Chubb and Sonny Michelle. Second round. Second round. First, second Sonny round. went first, second. First and second round, yeah. No, Sonny he went, went first, early, right? Uh, Chubb went second. Sonny went first, Chubb okay. went second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. I stand corrected. But with that being said, you saw what DeAndre, what DeAndre Swift was behind. And that young man has made a tremendous career for himself in the NFL. It's not necessarily about how early you play, but it's about how you're prepared for the next step. And I think that these um, these GMs, these coaches in the NFL, they understand that when you come out of University of Georgia, you've been prepared to the yeah, utmost, yeah. to the utmost. So fresh, body, I love that answer you gave. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's hey, a, you make a good point, Shawty. You're not getting beat the hell up for three years where you're running the ball 300 times. You know what I'm saying? You, that, mm-hmm. That's really that matter. Yep, you're fresh. Yep. Mm-hmm. I had a so, quick question. Yep. Bo, you're coming into an offense, you know, just as JV mentioned, I, I had a chance. We Most of us had a chance to play with your head coach. Uh, your offensive coordinator was my quarterback. You're coming into a pro-style offense. Uh, most freshmen struggle with pass, uh, with pass protection, you know, uh, and you, and you have already said you're going to, you plan to lose a little weight, come down from 205, maybe down to 200. Um, can you maintain that strength? Can you still be prepared to get that outside pass rush from a backer who's trying to go and play in the NFL next year? Like it ain't going to be another freshman you play against. It's going to be a guy trying to play on Sundays when you lose that weight. Are you going to be able to maintain that strength? Because in that offense, with it being a pro style, not me block. understanding a little bit about that quarterback and that coach you got, yeah, you're going to have to be multifaceted. How do you feel about your skill set coming in, getting ready for the competition? That's my favorite part, blocking for my QB, really. Shoot. Talk to me then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shoot, I like it. Damn, I like it. I like you know, hitting somebody, you know, him coming for a speed, stopping his momentum. I think I'm okay. going to be ready. Oh, sure. That's going to be a big part. I'm glad to hear that because, that's, you know, that aggressiveness <laughs> is going to be what's necessary as long as you aren't running from the challenge, you know, because Kirby like to call guys out. Let, let's go yeah. ahead and let that be known. You've already seen it. Yeah, and, uh, you shy away from contact. On the microphone. Yeah, you, yeah. On the microphone. <laughs> it'll, it'll be, we'll be talking about it on the show. So as long as you know it's coming – I'm glad to hear you're ready for it. Stat guy pretty good, put a um, pretty good question out there too. When y'all, get what's the question? What's your, but, do you yeah. have any? And do you have any goals for your senior season, um, or are you just looking for another state championship? Do you have any personal goals? I say both. Uh, mm-hmm. I want to get an LLC, man. My grandma been talking about it. Uh, uh, <laughs> we say okay. LLC. I yeah, like sir. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> look, do tell. Go ahead. We listen. Yeah, go ahead. Learn yeah. about that. Too. I'm out of school. Way out of school. 
<laughs> and I got something for that boat. Elaborate for us, though. Elaborate a little bit for us. I definitely want to win another state championship, but I got I got some goals. I see, you know, going for two thousand. I went for fifteen hundred, so going for two thousand, probably like twenty five hundred all purpose. You know, so okay. make sure I don't fumble the whole season and just be a leader. You know, okay. Leader. Okay. So, that's Man, awesome. That's a, that's a great answer. Hey, Bo, let me ask you this. This is going to tell me how smart you are. Okay, so you know you're coming into Georgia next year. Now, which one of the offensive linemen have you done got, you know, buddy-buddy with? Now, you know, boy, that's how you, that's your bread and butter right there, the offensive line. Have you have you built a relationship with any of them dudes? They huge. I would suggest you get them something to eat. I'll say, drink some food. I'll say Daniel Calhoun. Yeah, that's my buddy. He with the uh, – oh, what's the team? He a freshman though, but he, he coming like, in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he went to he went to Walton. Yeah, he went to Walton. Daniel Calhoun. Ooh, that's, that's that big boy. Hey yeah. man, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. He mo- he moved he moved him out the way, dog. He moved him out the way. <laughs> he yeah. out. So I've been here. So that's that's my boy though. Right. Okay, I, yeah, man. Get in with the offensive linemen, dog. I'm telling you right now, get in with the offensive linemen. That, that kind of that kind of leads me. And let me ask you this, because uh, you know one of the things that I'm really impressed with with Cedar Grove, I've been to you know a few of you guys' games over the last you know four or five years. You guys always play one of the toughest schedules, you know, in the state of Georgia. You guys play seven A teams, six A teams all the time. Who's the best player you played against uh, since you've been in high school? Oh, good question. Yeah, I see Caleb Downs, man. I was on the game. Yeah, he's I, a baller. I was wondering why you don't say that. <laughs> okay. He just different. Like he'll come out of nowhere and just make a play. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He's a good player. He's a hell of a player. Hey, listen, good is underestimating great. Yeah. That gentleman is a great player. I'm kind of salty we didn't get him. Yeah. Um, so. We ain't get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. and and just check this out, Bo. I, I'm 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 a I'm a gentleman that really appreciated. I'm not quite sure what the direction of that whole previous comment was gonna be about the LLC, but I'm a i I'm a gentleman who appreciates thoughts from young black men about entrepreneurship. Because I think that you know, there's nobody who can slight anyone who wants to have a position in the corporation. But understand the fact that you will never have enough earnings that will make you well off enough to be set for life realistically working for somebody. It comes at the expense and at the efforts and at your um, vision for something that you create yourself. So with that being said, I have an um, organization I want to make sure I introduce you to. It's um, the Rice Organization. Rice stands for the Russell Innovative Center for Entrepreneurship. That organization was founded by an Atlanta developer who was the largest African-American developer and the first African-American developer in the country. His name was H.J. Uh, Russell. That organization is currently being run by a huge um, dog, a graduate from UGA. His name is Jay Bailey, James Shout Bailey, but Jay. we call him Jay. That's a dog. It's also oh, being pushed. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely being pushed by a young uh, um, a, a individual by the name of Paul Mayberry, who is another dog. These guys help entrepreneurs push their dreams forward. So I'm going to, I'm going to connect with you after the show because I want to make sure that any ideas and thoughts you have in your head for your future can actually be facilitated within this group and you can be provided the help and the, and, and, and the nurturing you need in that space so, so that you can further whatever thoughts you have in that space. But I love that thought. I love that answer from you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Shout out to Grandmama Bo. Yes, sir. Man, yeah. Uh, grandma the one yes. her, her grandma the one spearhead in the um, campaign. So yep. shout out to Let's grandma. Go, grandma. Yep. Shout out. Shout out, grandma. Yep. Hey yep. Bo, yep. Um, yep. let me ask you another question. And maybe one of the other guys may have asked this. Once again, I got in late. 
And when I ask you this question, take a second to think about it because we don't need no beans spilled. All right. <laughs> so with that being said, you know, you're obviously a great kid, man, a great athlete. I'm sure you was very well sought after. I'm glad we was able to get you. But just let us know in the people out there in YouTube land and Facebook land and all that good stuff. What was it about UGA that made you just say, I'm going here. I appreciate everybody else because everybody got resources. Everybody got nice facilities. What was it about UGA that made you feel like that was the destination for you? Uh, no, I went to a little workout. Ninth grade, they invited me to it. And it was my first time meeting Dale McGee as a running back coach. So I had, I had worked out with him. I seen how hard working he was. So my 10th grade year, I went to like a a football game. And uh, I just, the culture, it just sent me in, really. My grandma loved it. My family loved we it. We got so you early. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, Shawty. I had to, we already asked that question, but it, I mean, it's good to double okay. up. I on. didn't know. I got it. Yeah. I didn't know. But, uh, he started uh, elaboration. Don't kill man. nobody. Yeah, Continue on, nobody. bro. It never hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grandma <laughs> loved it. That's all we need to know. Grandma yeah. loved it. Right, I thought that was it. That's grandma. it. Some grandma loved grandma it. Grandma loved it. <laughs> we good. Yeah, but come 11th grade, Coach McGee. <laughs> And I couldn't wait to get that off. I mean, I think I, I committed like the month after. Yeah, it mm. just went from there. So, Bo, and shout out to he, Coach McGee, who's now at gone. Georgia State, right. right? Who's now at Georgia State. Yep. Um, I you know love the opportunity that this uh, again. I'm I'm always gonna just call it out that this young black man got to be able to be a head coach at Georgia State in Atlanta, Georgia. Shout out to him because he has always been one of the rated one of the top recruiters in the country, right? Um, but with him yeah, being gone, was a, was a hell of a cornerback too. Now coming yeah, out of Columbus, Georgia, Auburn. over there, Auburn. Auburn yeah. I had to deal with that. I had to deal with that. <laughs> it's two sides, <laughs> but yeah, a great coach and recruiter too. So he definitely yeah, earned a good it. player. Good job, yeah. Jay. Great player. Absolutely. But with him being gone, Bo, is there? Um, is there a, a let off with the intensity for the recruiting that you've experienced, or are you still experiencing the same type of fervor from UGA when it comes to making sure that Bo Walker shows up early in December uh, for know, the University of Georgia? I really, when I committed, I told myself that, you know, I'm committed to a coach in the school, but when he left, you know, I had already knew Coach Crawford, so we had already been okay. when he was at Georgia Tech. So I feel like even though he was a wide receiver coach, I looked him up, and I think he coached running backs like one time, and then I, I went to a practice and seen how he practiced running backs. So I like the way, like the way he practiced. So I don't really think nothing really changed right now. You know, still locked in with Georgia. So, yeah. Awesome, I like that. Right. I like that. Kirby still there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Changing. Man, hell yeah. Well, well now that, that's super G though. Follow that super <laughs> G. Absolutely. All right, guys. We got any more questions from Bo? Look at man. Yeah, man. Bo, it's a school night, man. It's time for you to go and turn on in, man. Hey man, we appreciate you hanging out <laughs> yeah, with right. us, man. That man got big. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him up on the gram, man. Hey, look, just don't ignore my, my little request on the gram. It's good to meet you, bro. We're glad, glad to have you on here. Nice to meet you too. Absolutely. 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 All right, well, listen, Bo, this is Respect the Hedges. I told you what we do. I told you who we are, and I told you why we do it. We don't do it because we get paid to do it. We don't do it because it's fashionable. We do it because we love the dogs, man. We do it because we're a brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? CA, when I came in the UGA, me and Shawda came in the UGA, E-Rob and C-Rob, I mean, E-Rob and, and CA were already there. These guys literally just grabbed, wrapped their arms around us, took us up under their wings, and just taught us the game, man. They treated us like we had been there 
forever and a day. And it hazes us a little bit. Other folks hazes us a little bit. But it was all good because it was done in the, in the, in the form of love. They wanted us to understand what it meant to us, what it meant to them. And in turn, it began to mean that for me, I'm from Alabama, shot from Atlanta, uh, CA's from Atlanta. E-Rob is actually from Florida. E-Rob, who was your favorite team growing up? Uh, the Hurricane. Big Hurricane. We are family. So hey, listen, I was, a, I was an Alabama fan growing up, Bo. I understand mm-hmm. that. But here tonight, you sit in a room full of dogs. That's over with. Cool Cal has been homeboys with some of my homeboys forever in a day. And I consider him family now. So this is what we have. This is what we do. And this is who we are. We welcome you into this brotherhood. If there's anything we can do for you, brother, you just let us know. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So All right. Now, appreciate too. you, man. And, and with that being said, this has been another edition of Respect the Hedges. We got the superstar Bo Walker here with us. We got the, our normal panel here with us. Got Coach I. He he coming in and out. He's somewhere around here. <laughs> hey, look, man, we'll be back. I think we need to do another show next Tuesday. So if you know, like I know, same place. Be here next Tuesday, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about what's going on in the spring and how what we expect the dogs to look like here in the fall. I'm going to practice. Let's get it. Go dogs. Let's get it. Go. Go. No. Yeah, I go to practice. <laughs>